Our coverage continues now. Cicilline's decision quickly drawing reaction from across the state as well as Washington. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo is live outside the Rhode Island Foundation and continues our coverage in Providence. Sheena. Well, with this bombshell announcement also comes a new chapter here at the Rhode Island Foundation. We spoke to the current CEO who tells us more about why Cicilline was picked for the job and what exactly he'll be doing here. From the nation's capital back to Rhode Island's capital city. This is a look at Congressman David Cicilline's new office, the Rhode Island Foundation in the heart of downtown Providence. He starts June 1st, so he is Congressman till June 1st, and I'm the CEO till June 1st, and we'll work out a very orderly transition, but I think it'll be great for the Rhode Island community. The current CEO, Neil Steinberg, led the foundation for 15 years and announced his intentions to retire last year. We're told Cicilline was selected by the foundation's board of directors after a thorough national search. A spokesperson says his starting salary is $650,000. We lead, we hope to lead, leave it in a better place than it was and then turn it over to the next person. And I have a lot of confidence that David will take it to new heights. I think it's a great match. It's going to be good for the state of Rhode Island. Governor Dan McKee says he's looking forward to working with Cicilline in his new role while thanking him for his work as a congressman. The lieutenant governor shares a similar message, adding that she's still processing the news. He has been a great allied for the community and representing the state of Rhode Island and has opened doors for many people here in the state of Rhode Island. The Rhode Island Foundation is a community foundation funded by donors. It provides grants to nonprofit groups and more. As the new president and CEO, Steinberg says Cicilline will take charge on things like education, housing and health. He has incredible track record of public service to and for Rhode Island as mayor, as congressman, so his knowledge of the community, his passion, his commitment, his intellect, uh, and his network. So yes, today we're hearing from a lot of people who are expressing interest in taking his spot in Congress, but we're also hearing from people who are just thanking him for his service in public office so far, including from Congressman Seth Magaziner, who like many others say they are looking forward to working with Cicilline in his new role. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.